Molly, it is Thursday, January 12th, and this is Who's To Say, coming at you from straight inside YouTube because I really cannot solve my video problems. My camera is turning off in the middle of filming, and it's very frustrating. In your video, you discussed New Year's resolutions, and I thought that they were great. I loved fun ones like traveling abroad and getting a new tattoo, and the serious and honest one of going to therapy this year. You mentioned in your video that it's something you've been wanting to do for a long time, and you and I have talked about it privately amongst ourselves several times over the years, and I just think that it's really incredible that you want to really commit to that this year, and that you also want to share it here on our channel with me and with our broader audience. I love New Year's resolutions. Love them. I am a goal-oriented person. I'm a person who thrives on routines. I am a person who likes the feeling of a new beginning, even if the new beginning is the new year and it's really not that disruptive of regular life. I just like them. That being said, I'm not going to make New Year's resolutions in 2017. 2016 was a huge year for me and for my husband, and we did a lot, and we did a lot of resolution. There was a lot of making resolutions and following through on resolutions, but it was a big year. We relocated from Alabama back to Texas, which is home for us. Uh, we did that by really just saying that was what we were going to do in 2016, and when the time came to make a choice about it, we both um, put in our notice at our jobs and made the plan to move back to Texas without much of anything in the way of new employment or, you know, a plan. I mean, there was a plan. The plan was to move back and hope everything worked out, and it did. There is something to be said about, I guess, having faith in yourself to do things that need to get done. Um, I landed my dream job which I have now, and I love it, and I'm incredibly happy in it, um, and it's been incredible, but 2016 was a whirlwind. Um, several close friends got married, and we traveled for those events, and it was really great, and it was a, a good year, sort of solidifying um, lifelong friendships, and we traveled abroad. We went to Sapporo, Japan, which is we went to Japan on our honeymoon when we got married, and we try to make it a point to go back to Japan every other year if we can. And so we went and spent a week in Sapporo in February, and for anyone who doesn't know, that's very far north and very cold. Um, but that was incredible, and it was just a really big year for us. So in 2017, I am relaxing a little bit. This feels like the first year of my adulthood that not everything has to be planned. Um, my adulthood so far has consisted of going to college and moving after I graduated and applying to grad schools and doing grad school and landing my first career job and moving back to Texas and landing kind of a dream career job. And it's just been a lot and it's been great, but 2017 feels like a year that can kind of just calm down, frankly. And so I'm going to lean into that. That being said, I am going to pick a word of the year, which is something that uh, Nicole of Writes Like a Girl blog does every year, and I felt particularly inspired by it this year. It seemed kind of in line with both relaxing but still doing something motivating in a new year. So I've decided that my word of the year is going to be intention. I want to live intentionally and do things intentionally and take on projects intentionally and not just sort of filling time. I want to get something out of all of these things and make choices with a clear intent. It's possible that there's been a background noise this entire video and that is my refrigerator and it's the loudest thing on the planet. So. Yeah, 2017, I'm going to just live it. <laughs> I'm going to try and not make 
huge... Well, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna make huge life changes in 2017. I'm sure that I will. But I'm saying that right now, in January of 2017, I don't know what those are yet. And that's okay. And the year will still go forward and I will still be a person going forward and growing. And it should be good. So, can't wait to see what you have to say next Wednesday, Molly.